Okay, that's good enough. So, you might be wondering where this setup is. Oh my god, I'm sweating. Okay, so this setup you've never probably seen before. Um, I currently just made like my new little art studio, I guess, in my house. It's like outside in the back porch. It's like this little mudroom that we have going on. And I put basically all my artworks on the wall. And I have like this huge, um, what is it, an, an easel? An easel for this painting that I want to do soon. Let me show you. That's that. It's really big. And that's the outside over there. And then I have a bunch of paintings and I have a little desk for me to paint. And I have like this chair over here that you can't see, but I'll show you later. In the end of the video, I'll do like a whole room, a room tour of my art room tour. So I hope you stay tuned for that. But hi, I'm Danya. If you don't know who I am, I'm Danya. I'm 19 years old and I do YouTube videos for fun. Um, I haven't done many videos because of everything that's been going on and you know the world is pretty crazy right now but I want to continue making videos soon because I have a lot of things going on that I want to do and I've been um, involving myself more in art because when I was young I've always loved to draw like anyone who knows me I've always loved to draw and paint and do everything but like as I got older it kind of faded away a little and then I got back and then I got out and now I'm just like co coming back to it and relearning everything and trying to better my skill set. So today I'm going to be teaching you or I don't know if it's teaching, I'm not a teacher, but I'm going to be painting these koi fish in water. I'm gonna teach you how to do it if you don't know how and I'm gonna also just do it for fun again because I think this looks pretty cool and if you want to do it with me you know get your pen paper some paint and let's do it together I'm so excited so sorry I haven't been here there's a lot of things going on right now as I said before and um, I'm gonna put links down in my description so that you can go check out get knowledge, learn, sign petitions, and donate if you can. Um, and just spread the word and have conversations. Oh my god. Okay, sorry, we're like in the middle of a hurricane right now. Well, not in the middle of it, but it's like passing by. And I'm kind of outside, so if you hear a lot of rumbling, that's probably the trees and the wind outside. But anyways, the Black Lives Matters. It's a movement and it should have always mattered. That's what I believe in. And if you wanna check out the links below, you very much should. I just hope that we are all nice to each other moving along and just always be nice and kind and don't be a hater. Haters are mean and rude and disrespectful. Don't be a hater. That being said, give this video a thumbs up if you like it. And yeah, let's get started. Let's get painting. Um, I don't know if I want to do a voiceover or if I want to talk during paint. During, if I want to talk during I paint. If I want, oh my God. I'm sweating, um, my hair's a mess, <laughs> not have makeup on. I'm a mess, but that's fine. Like, this is the real me. Oh, but also another thing is that a lot of things didn't really change for me. I kind of kept working, if you knew that I work a nine to five job. But um, yeah, I'm trying my best. Um, I keep doing that. And school, spring semester just finished. Well, didn't just finish, finished a while ago. Fall 2020 semester for me, it's gonna be all online. So that's gonna be coming up. And I wanna bring you along through all that. I want you to come and see everything that I do. Hopefully I keep up and I'm consistent because I just got a laptop too that my beautiful, amazing, handsome boyfriend got me and I'm excited to edit on there and do everything that, you know, I could have been doing like a month ago. So I'm excited and I'm done enough talking. Let's just get started and let's paint. Hey guys, so this is going to be the setup. Um, I have my Hemi paint. I got my two 
things of water so that I can interchange and not have to go and come back and clean out water. Um, so we're gonna learn how to do this. Let's see if you can like really see. I think it's super cool. I actually saw a video on how to do it, but I kind of did my own thing with the black outline. So what you're gonna need is liner pencils. I got these at Michael's. Everything, all my paintbrushes I got at Michael's and I got this book, this watercolor notebook at Michael's. Um, I like it a lot. I'm so excited. I've always wanted to do like a cool teaching how to paint video. Um, and I'm finally doing that. So here I have tape. You're also gonna need tape and a pencil. I'm so sorry. I should like probably leave this set down. But um, so I'm gonna get some tape so that my borders are nice and clean. Um, what I found is that you want to put the tape like on your skin or on your t-shirt or something so that it gets less sticky and the reason for that is because you want it to basically not stick too much on your paper or else it'll rip when you take it off so that's what I'm doing I'm just doing this I'm sweating so much because it's so hot in here. Also, these glasses are from Claire's. They're blue light. They don't really do anything. I have perfect eyesight, but I mean, <gasps> knock on wood. But they're just cool. And a coworker has them, so I got them. And they look cute on her, but I think they look cuter on her. <laughs> okay, so you just want to make a box. Just doesn't matter what size. I'm gonna make mine kind of small, I think. I think that's fine. And just do that until you have a perfect square. So I thought this video would be nice and chill to make only because it's good for me to talk to you guys about how life has been during this pandemic. It's really crazy. I hope everyone is safe and like staying as clean as possible. You know, washing your hands and sanitizing because that's good. I don't know why I didn't. Why, I'm, why am I doing a country accent? Um, I'm drinking this drink. It's called Aha. And it's kind of disgusting, but it's the only cold drink in my house right now. Anyways, as, what, as I was saying, um, yeah, it's just crazy how this is all happening. Um, congratulations to Clash of 2020. You guys did not deserve this, but the world is how it is right now and I congratulate everyone who graduated this year and we just gotta look at the positives even though things are pretty bad right now you just gotta stay positive and do the best you can with what you got so that's what I've been doing at least trying to do because of course there's bad days but we all have those so you want to wet the area I lied, I did this wrong. OMG, I'm such an awful teacher. I literally, I can't believe what I did. You were supposed to sketch. Oh, let me start over again. Okay, now I did it. So I did it again. I don't know if you can tell, but I have the tape on there. And now I'm just gonna sketch out the fish. So you can use a reference. Um, I did use a reference, but I'm gonna just kind of like wing it right now because I just because it's kind of easy kind of like This weird shape oh, Can you see my head? I feel like that's an ugly angle. So I'm just gonna sketch it doesn't have to be perfect because you're gonna erase this after um, So I'm just gonna do like This cute little teardrop type of shape and I don't know if you can see that, but I'll do a time lapse. Okay, so now that I have my general sketch, I don't know if you can see that that well, but it's like just the general sketch. I'm going to outline it with my Pigma Micron pen and just go over it so that it's darker than obviously the whole page so 
Yeah, I'm gonna outline this right now. Okay, now that we got our outline done, it's pretty cute. Oh, it's a cute little fish. Okay, so now that I got that, now we can do what I accidentally did on accident. So, we're gonna get some water and just make sure you go over like the outside. So, also I'll link the video down below of the woman that did this because I am not gonna take full credit. Um, she did this and she did it like her video is so calming so if you want to watch that you can watch that but that's where i got this idea from so yeah i'm just following that like tutorial so you can go watch that but you know after you watch mine so you're gonna water everything in the background except the fish so do not go inside just do like around the fish when you do the watercolor over it it bleeds and it does like this nice little sprouting type of effect where the um paint kind of blooms out so it kind of looks tie-dye in a way i don't know if that makes sense but you know i'm trying here so yes so i think this is good and now we can move on to color so you can do blue, but I think I'm gonna spice it up a little bit and do a different color because I have tons. So I think I'm gonna do, I think I wanna do purple, you know, blue's cousin. So I'm gonna go in with a darker purple like this type of vibrant purple. I'm gonna clean my brush and I'm going to take some of this lavender purple I'm not good at explaining things I feel like I'm doing a terrible job at explaining but this is what I'm doing I can't really explain Okay, so here's what I got. You can see that it's kind of like like ombre, I guess. I don't know, um, but sorry, I'm trying to adjust my lighting, but that's what it looks like. Um, obviously, you can keep playing around with it to see how you like it, but I think I like how it looks right now. Um, so you want to let it dry, and then we're going to start the next thing, which is making giving color to the fish and also yes i'm still filming with my phone <gasps> i'm still filming with my phone because i want to oh my god these if you go to any like little spanish store and get these these are bomb they're just corn bites This is my trash can over here, if you can see that. That's kind of embarrassing. Okay, so now for the finishing touch, the lady in the video added some cute little eyes at the tops right here. So I'm gonna get a little bit of this brown color over here. You can't really see it, but gonna get a little bit not wet my brush too much because I don't want it to like blend in so I'm just gonna do like let me see if you can see it so I'm just gonna do like one like that and then like that and then right here and like right here I'm gonna have a little mouth that's 
that's so cute! And that's the finished product. Now I'm going to take the tape off, which is the most important part and the most satisfying part. So, ready? Oh god, it just all together. Oh my god, can you see? I'm not sure if I'm making it satisfying. Oh, this is so stressful. Not satisfying. Okay, look. Look at how crisp that line is. That is so cute. You are gonna... You can't lie to me and tell me that is not the cutest thing ever. Like, that is so freaking cute. That is so cute. Okay, so now I'm gonna sign it at the bottom with my name. And we're done. I'm so happy with it. It is so adorable. I love it. I love it. Hey guys, so we went from my inspiration picture or painting to this and i think i did a pretty good job okay now for the thing that we've all been waiting for my art room tour so it's kind of dirty but okay let's get started this is the curtain separating from the outside, that's the porch, and this is my room, so it's very small. There's my ring light, that's a little couch sitting area. I have the paintings that me and my brother make. My brother makes a lot of these anime ones, he's really good at that. Um, I've made all these other ones, like Jake, and this one, it took me a while. Um, and I tried to do Ariana Grande, but I don't think it turned out that good. Um, and I have this huge canvas that I haven't used yet, but I will soon. Um, I made that. And yeah, that's where all my canvases are. A box, all of the markers and brushes and pencils and everything. A little trash can. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video please like comment and subscribe i don't know if i have an outro or an intro yet but i'll figure it out and yeah i'll see you guys next time bye i'm so sweaty it's insane it's this light i'm just, do i have boogies hopefully not if i do please call me out okay